Hey, Ellis from Spectoria here, and today we're going to be talking about the Repair Request Builder and how to use it. Agents love the Repair Request Builder, and agents use it to create professional-looking repair request lists from Spectora's home inspection reports, adding their own requests for credit, repairs, replacements, or custom text. The tool can be used for project lists, fix-it lists, or any other addendums that require certain defects with custom text. Let's go ahead and get started on how to use this thing. All right, starting on the report that we would like to build this repair request list on, you'll see in the upper right hand corner, there's a drop down called report tools. Clicking into that gives us the option to do the repair request builder. Once we open that up in the upper left hand corner, you'll notice that it's asking for a document name. You can name this to be whatever verbiage that you need specifically for your business, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as repair request list so that uh, that fits my need. As we go into the sort document by, you can see that there's a few different options of how you would like this document to be sorted. Um, original report order, severity category, recommendation, dollar amount, highest to low, and lowest to high. We're gonna go ahead and stick with the original report order because I think that fits best for what my clients would be seeing and how it matches with the original report. Next, we have the header text that will show up at the top of your report. Um, you can make this say, again, anything that fits your business. I'm going to go ahead and say all repairs will be done by a qualified professional and leave it as that. Next thing we're going to want to do is choose which actual recommendations and safety hazards we want to show up on this repair request list. You'll see on this bar here that you have the option to quickly look through or uh, sort your recommendations and safety hazards. You can click on safety hazards to just look at the safety hazards you'd like to highlight or recommendations and safety hazards to see both or all to see everything that was uh, noted on this report. Once you've chosen which one you would like to go through, you can choose which you would actually like to show up on the report by clicking this checkbox in the upper left hand corner of each recommendation and safety hazard. Once you've checked that on, you'll have the ability to put a credit and that credit, once you've clicked into it, you can just type in the amount that you would like to request from your client. We're going to put $1,000 to replace this. and. Once you've put that credit in there, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner, you have a running total of how much you've requested so far on this repair request list. So as we select more recommendations and safety hazards and put how much the credit will be for each one, that running total will change. Next thing you can do is you can choose a comment so that you can have a comment explaining or uh, going into further detail on this recommendation. Um, you're welcome to type in manually what you would like, but we also have these quick text buttons on the side uh, that add these text in to help save you a little bit of time. These are common phrases we see uh, other agents and inspectors put in here. If we click that, it'll say repair requested. And if you choose the other one, it'll put replacement requested. So you're welcome to use those or not yet use those however you would like. All right, I have gone ahead and selected a few of these recommendations that I would like to show up on the repair request builder for my seller. And you'll notice that in the upper right hand corner, there's a total credit requested um, with a running total of what all of the credit adds up to so far. And if we want to see what this actual repair request builder looks like, once we've got everything selected and the credits and comments applied like we'd like, we can click on this preview button and that preview button will bring in a new page for us. And this page demonstrates for each different recommendation, um, the credit requested for the seller. So there's a thousand for this one, 300 for this one. And as we go down to the very bottom, you'll see that there's a total credit requested there at the bottom with a nice big number for the seller to see. Um, you're also able to download this as a PDF or view it as a PDF. So in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see this blue little tab that says view as a PDF. And if we click on that, it will open up that page where we can view this as a PDF and you can even download it um, or print it, whatever it is that you'd like or your seller would like. Um, this gives it to them in a format that is easy for them to uh, share or view however they'd like.
Once you get done previewing the repair request list and you're happy with how it looks, the next step to getting this sent out to the seller would be to hit the create button. When we hit that create button, it brings a pop-up for us that gives us the actual link directly to the repair request list, which you will be able to click into and see again if you would like to. But you also can send this directly to them through an email or a text message. If we open up the email box here, it allows you to put the recipient in there, which would be your seller, as well as make the subject line and any changes to the email template itself before sending that out. Just having the link in there is the most important part so they can actually access the repair request list. One important thing to note as the agent is if you ever want to make any changes or edits to the repair request list, you would need this link that is created when we create the actual repair request list in order to access it again to make those edits. Um, if you don't have this link, you would have to start over from scratch and create this repair request list from the beginning. Um, but you're able to actually send this to yourself in this email box as well. So you could put the seller's email in there with a comma separating uh, that and your email. And then when you send it to yourself, you can actually open the link directly from here. And then in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see an edit repair request builder button, which when we click on it, it takes us back to the initial stages of the repair request builder. But everything that we had worked on so far is saved in there and ready to be changed or added on to. And just like that, once you hit send on that email, it's all done. If you have any questions concerning the Repair Request Builder, don't hesitate to reach out on the bubble and we'll be happy to help you. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.